Australia's bushfires have left up to a billion animals dead or at risk in the aftermath. On Saturday, the scene on Kangaroo Island was a grim one. Military personnel from both Australia and New Zealand began the clean-up of dead animals, recovering carcasses from what has previously been a wildlife-rich tourist attraction. Major Tony Purdy of the Australia Defence Force said the job, though difficult, was a vital one. It's been, a, uh, it's been an extraordinary day, to be honest. It's never a good thing to come across deceased uh, wildlife, uh, such as koalas and kangaroos. However, the role we have here is very, very vital. Uh, and we will continue to be here as long as we're needed. Fire services are still working to strengthen containment lines ahead of worsening weather conditions that are expected to exacerbate the fires further. The Australian government has called the crisis an ecological disaster, with critically endangered species hugely at risk. According to a news poll survey, public support for the country's Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, has slumped to its lowest levels amid widespread fury over the government's handling of the fires.